We're gonna learn how to use Avery's free software to export our barcode data and print barcode labels. There's a few reasons why you might wanna use third-party software. Maybe you have, um, maybe you don't have a QR barcode scanner, but you do have 1D EAN scanners. Uh, maybe you want a custom look, or maybe you wanna use something like spine labels. These are all valid reasons to use a third-party tool. Uh, so we're gonna cover how to do that today. So. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and start on our Labib account. And this is my, my books collection, and these are the barcode labels that I need to print. And this time I wanna use EAN instead of QR. So I'm gonna go ahead and export my barcode data. And to do that, I'm gonna to go to Settings. Collections is selected by default, and you'll see there's an option here for Export Barcode Data, and you'll get a CSV file. I'm gonna select my books from the Libraries dropdown and click Export. You can see here's my export file I just got, and I'm gonna go back over to Avery. You'll need to create an account if you haven't yet. Once you do and log in, you'll have your profile information up here. We're gonna click on that, we're gonna to go to projects. And I'm gonna create a new project. Now I want you to choose your label template. I'm gonna stick with the 5160 as it's the most popular for the first example. And a blank horizontal design. Now we're ready to start designing but we've got a problem. We need to import our data and they're gonna show us that there's some requirements that we have to meet. Our max file size is 3,000 rows. So if you have over 2,999 items, this actually will fail if you try to import it. You'll need to open this in spreadsheet software and break that into multiple files. If you have over 20 columns, it's gonna fail. Well, our export does have over 20 columns. It has 24 columns. So we need to remove some of those for this to import properly. So I've already opened Google Sheets. Um, here's an example I've already done. We're gonna start over here. We'll go, we'll go back to the beginning and we'll start a blank file. And we need to clean this up. So we're going to import and upload a file. I'm gonna drag and drop. And I'm gonna let it just do everything automatically. Now, I like Google Sheets because it doesn't convert large barcode numbers into scientific format, and it also doesn't remove leading zeros. Excel does these things. There's ways around that, but you need to keep that in mind when working with any of our export files that that could be mismanaged. So I know that I'm not gonna use a lot of these columns, so I'm gonna select them and delete them. And to delete them, you just click on the header and click delete column. You can even hold shift and click and get rid of multiple columns at a time. And I actually want that one. So I'm gonna unclick those. Delete columns, T through W, and delete call number. So now that I've cleaned this up, it's much smaller. I can save it back out. So I'm gonna name this edited file and download as a comma separated value. And there's my edited file. So I'm gonna come back over to Avery, I'm gonna browse, I'm gonna choose edited, I'm gonna open this, and boom, it imported, it worked great. I'm gonna click this button, which says do not use this top row as data in my, in my uh, labels, click next. And now we just start dragging and dropping the information we want. We want the title, we want the creators. I actually like how it shows you a preview of some real data in use. And I want the DDC, and then I want the ISBN 13. Click Next, and Finish. And there's our information. I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna resize it a little bit to fit neatly in the safe area. I'm gonna drag it way over here. And now that we've got this, now I need to add my actual barcode. So to do that, I'll click More, click on QR and Barcodes, add a barcode or QR code. And instead of enter manually, manually, I want to choose a spreadsheet. It's going to remember that I uploaded that spreadsheet earlier, and it's going to go ahead and default to using that. Instead of code 128, I want to use the EAN 13 in this example. And then you just find the barcode column and drag and drop it. Click Finish. It generates barcodes for all your items. You can click around here and see. But it's not sized appropriately, and it's not located. So we'll resize this and make it a little smaller. We'll put it over here to the side. And that's looking pretty nice. And if I were to print this out, it would work great. Um, and that's really all there is to it. Maybe you wanna add your organization information to this though, that's possible too. I'm gonna squeeze this down to give myself some more room. I'm gonna add some text. And I'm gonna call this my org. 
and I want it to be bold. And then I just need to place it in a reasonable location so it doesn't run into my other text. And now all my barcodes have my org listed at the top. That is really all there is to uh, printing custom labels. I would hit print preview. It's going to show me a nice preview. You can print it from there. You can save it as a PDF and then print it. So that's we're going to stop there for that part because uh, we're going to move on to using um, spine labels. So I'm going to click choose template, start over. There's a size that I like to use. It's called 94203, and it is a half inch by an inch and three quarters, and that's about as small as they get through Avery. And I'm going to choose the vertical design, which requires us to get a little bit creative. So we're going to start with the barcode this time. I'm going to click More and QR and Add Barcode. It's going to want us to import a file again. We can use that same edited file from earlier. I'm going to make sure you deselect this. And while we're here, let's say you just wanted to print one barcode label or two. So we'll deselect every single one, and I'm just going to select two items because I just want to print these two in this example. So you can do that as well. You can even change the sorting if you need to using these sort options, which is really handy. And then I'm going to use QR code instead of EAN and I want it to be set to text. Now we've got QR codes for our two labels here and you can see that they are different. And I'm gonna move them to the top. Now I wanna add a little bit more information. You have to be very careful though. These small spine labels do not hold very much information at all. Um, it will resize it to fit it the best, but if you have a super long title or something, it will get cut off. So please keep that in mind. So I'm gonna click on import data, choose fields. We've got the two items that we need and I'm going to drag the title over and the creator and the DDC. I honestly wouldn't even recommend this much data but I think it's okay in this example. So here it's added our items and you can see that I actually want them to be horizontal to give me more flexibility. And I want to reposition this down here. And I want to stretch it out to give me more room. And I want to get it in the safe area. I'm going to resize it like that. And that's looking pretty good. I'm going to actually left align this. That looks even better. And then I'm going to shrink the font size. Let's try five. And I like that. That's pretty good. You need to have a good printer to go with fonts that are that small, but I think those fit pretty neatly on the spine labels. And here's our other example. So then from here, you would click print and you would follow the exact same steps. You could label your items and off you go. So that's how you print spine labels. We're gonna do one more thing. We're gonna print a patron uh, library card. So I'm gonna go back to choose templates. And I'm going to search for the 8371. And I'm going to choose this one here. I want it to be horizontal. And now we can design these. And this is very much the exact same process. I'm going to go relatively quick here. To get your data, you need to go to Lending, Export Patron Data. It's down here. Now, Patron Data does not include anywhere near 20 columns. So we don't need to edit this file to begin working with it. I'm gonna to go to import data. I'm gonna browse for my file. I'm gonna choose my patron export. I'm going to uncheck this file. I've got my two patrons here included. I'm gonna drag and drop their first name and then their last name. And I want them on the same line so you can edit that here. There we go. I want an email, I want it to be on the next line, and I want a barcode. Click Next, and finish. And here, we've added these. So you could go ahead and add a big barcode here, and then you can even do like the back of the sheet. You could add text, and you could do the whole, you know, my org thing here with more information. And then when you print these, you can print front and back and have double-sided library cards. You can laminate them. 
Um, a lot of flexibility. That's how you use Avery's tool. We're going to have another video on how to use Dymo. Uh, I hope that helps.